Hi, I'm a Canon Explorer of Light and fashion photographer Loretta Houston, and I'm here to take you behind the shot of one of my favorite images. I'm a photographer who loves a clean and moody high fashion image. For this shoot, I decided to play with the lines of perspective and give it a sense of an optical illusion. In my opinion, high fashion is a little unusual, surprising, and eye-catching. The process of this shoot took about a week of putting the concept together. Depending on the project, I either start with picking the model, then go into the concept, or start with the concept and then pick the model. With this particular project, I decided to start with the wardrobe first, then pick the model, go into what type of lighting I wanted, and then created the concept. In order to have a successful photo shoot, I decided to pick a model who was a bit tall to fit the wardrobe properly, and a model of a darker skin tone. We also thought that since she had a yellow undertone, we would use brown neutral colors for makeup with a punch of gold so that it wouldn't overpower the wardrobe. I wanted to use my trusted Canon EOS R5 because it's a powerful, robust camera that creates high quality images that can be used for any kind of photography. One of the other reasons I love the camera is the 45 megapixel resolution. I love a good crop, and with this camera, I can crop closely into the image and still have it be sharp. Remember when I mentioned I wanted to play off the lines and illusion? Well, I felt the best lens to do this was the Canon's 8 to 15 millimeter F4L USM lens, also called a fisheye lens. I wanted a little bit of an interesting distortion, which gave an illusion of longer arms, hands, torso, legs, and feet. Lastly, the lighting. I wanted a clean and moody outcome for the images. To achieve this, I wanted to use a one light setup with a five foot octa box on the right hand side of her at a 45 degree angle. This created a faster fall off and it gave a nice dramatic shadow. I'm also known to make last minute decisions when I know something is not quite there or something's missing. So in this case, the makeup artist and I decided to paint her earlobe gold instead of using an earring. I knew I wanted something sleek, so I asked the model to pose her arms, her shoulders, her hands in a more artistic way. After I called down the images, this image ended up being my favorite image. The reason why I love this image is because it's really strong. The model's arm is long, the wardrobe is distorted, and it shows the painted earlobe. Please like and subscribe to Canon's USA YouTube channel.